Hello friends, it's good to see you again. Have you ever wanted to own a condenser microphone for your singing or for your YouTube videos? But you have always been turned off by the price? Well, I have been too. I have always been turned off by the price of condenser microphones in excess of hundreds of dollars. So I built this condenser microphone myself. This condenser microphone is based on the back electric technology. So it does not need any external power or phantom power to operate. And it can be connected to any smartphone, laptop or desktop PC. And this is a stereo microphone. This is a stereo condenser microphone and it records sound in both channels. You can see the recording in the background. I am speaking through this microphone and I will speak through this microphone throughout the whole video so that you can judge the sound quality of this microphone. Well definitely this microphone does not sound or look like the hundreds of dollars counterparts but this microphone costs a mere dollar one to make and it took me only 10 minutes to build it. So you can't beat that right? To prove that I am speaking through this microphone and this very recording is done in this microphone. Uh, when I am bringing the microphone closer to my mouth you can hear the my voice getting louder and when I am bringing it away from my mouth you can hear my voice getting softer. And again when I am bringing the microphone closer to my mouth the voice is getting louder. So it is the proof that I am recording through this microphone itself. To prove that this is a stereo microphone, not a mono microphone, I will scratch the diaphragm of one microphone and you will be able to hear the scratching sound through either your left speaker or your right speaker. Hear that? Now I am scratching the other microphone. I'm scratching the first one again. I'll scratch the second one now. Hear that? There is one thing you must know before you try to build this microphone that not all sound cards support stereo microphone input. So you must make sure that your computer or your laptop sound card supports stereo microphone input. So let's get started. It costs dollar one worth of parts and a mere 10 minutes to make. This is what you are gonna need for the project. You need two back electric condenser mics, two pen caps, one 3.5mm socket, 3.5mm male to male connector and a plastic base of your choice and some wires for soldering. Now take these electric condenser microphones. These are the heart of the project. This is the negative pole of the electric condenser microphone. The negative pole is connected to the case through the PCB. And this is the positive pole. Now take four wires. Two of them should be black and the other two can be of any color. This is just for your reference. Strip one of the black wires. Add some flux. And then solder one of the black wires to one of the negative poles of one of the condenser microphones. Then take the red wire and do the same now for the positive pole of the microphone.
and repeat the same thing for the other electric microphone. Now both of the microphones have been soldered with wires. Now take the two pin caps with pre-cut holes in them. Push the wires coming out of the microphone through the hole. And fix the microphone to the top. Do the same for the other microphone and the pain cap. There, the, both of our condenser microphones are ready now. Now we'll have to connect the two black wires together. Add some flux and then solder it to the common terminal of the 3.5 mm socket. And then we'll have to connect the other two wires, the yellow and the red one to the other terminals of the 3.5 mm socket. Now all the output wires have been soldered on and these are the microphones and this is the 3.5 mm socket. Now take a suitable base for the microphones and for housing the 3.5 mm socket. Attach the 3.5 mm socket to the housing. And now we'll have to keep the and now we'll have to glue the two microphones in a phase angle of 90 degrees with each other. This 90 degree angle will make sure that each of the microphones capture sound from different directions. We'll have to glue them in this position. This is how it looks like from above after the glue thing has been done. Now for the final step, take the 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm male to male jack. Push the jack into the mic output and connect the other end of the jack into your laptop mic input, your desktop mic input, or your dedicated audio recorder. And we are done. Thank you for watching. If you like the tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. See you again in my next video. Till then, take care.